All right, so some people have wondered how exactly we go about pulling codes on a John Deere of uh, various make or various models without the fancy service advisor software. Well, if you read through the technical manual you can purchase for your machine, you'll see one easy way, well, relatively easy. So what we have here is our roll mode switch, and that allows us to cycle through various things on our dashboard. Get you guys back down here. And then we have our turn signal switch. So to enter diagnostic mode, this is a 5075E, but same basic principles for all of them. We're gonna press and hold our roll mode, right, left, left, right, left, right, light up. And now up top here, we're showing our CCU. And then if I move my turn signal to the right, ECU to the right, EIC, ICC, PTR. So we got our chassis control unit, engine control unit, enhanced um, instrument panel, whatever you want to call it, control unit, various additions. I forget the exact acronym on that instrument con control cluster and powertrain controller so we'll just pick EIC we're gonna hit our roll mode button and we have what's called source addresses so that's zero zero that identifies the controller if we go up one we have codes so we can actually press that roll mode switch again so we have a 2009 code and if we go to the right, if that's the only code, it'll ask us to clear. If we go to the left, we can back out. Then we can go to our beep test. And then through these source addresses, each one of these is listed in your operator or in your technical manual. You're actually able to monitor live data. So we're going to go to the left once to back out of the controller. And let's choose... Now let's go to ECU. So we're going to go down and press our roll mode again. That brings us to our... Oop. Now the down thing about this particular chassis is without a key cycle you basically got to go through everything. So if I can kind of bounce you through here real quick. Should be able to reset in a second. There we are. I think it's going to be a pain though. ECU. Oop. Yeah. But basically every single one of these addresses is a different data point. There we go. We got some control unit serial numbers, software versions, uh, that was the current software part number, there we go, ECU, no codes, beat mode, so let's go out one, let's see what does have a code, choose ICC, no codes, back out, to the left, up to the right, hit our roll mode, codes, See how it says codes? So that lets us know there's currently one stored. We hit our roll mode. And then when we go to the right, we can cycle through each one of our codes. And we can clear if we go up to the right. And I'll just... Whoop. I'm sorry. Uh, if we hit our roll mode, we clear it out. Done. So go to the left, go back into powertrain no codes. Now there's about a million and one different meanings for each one of these. 009, 10, so you really do need your tech manual to go through and like I said most of the other machines are very similar. So hope that helps.